Hello, this is Justin again, KD8VMR. Um, well, today uh, I'm just going to do a short video on um, a little more in depth on two meters. Um, I have some parts here. Uh, just going to show quickly how to build a two meter dipole. Um, two meter dipoles. Um, generally horizontally polarized. They work uh, very well for um, pretty much anything. Uh, they work really good for the side bands and for uh, CW. Um, you can use them as well for FM. Uh, usually a vertically polarized antenna works better for the FM, but um, I've, I've made some simplex contacts with a two meter dipole. Um, Pretty far away, so I mean it, it does work. Um, basically, I have two pieces of wire. Um, this is uh, copper grounding wire. Um, it's flexible, um, but fairly sturdy as well. Um, you can build a two-meter dipole using um, copper tubing as well. Uh, it'd be a little more rigid and work out for you a little better. Um, but for this, I'm going to just show with the wire. Um, and what you want to do is you want to cut these pieces to um, 19 and a quarter. You'll need two pieces for both legs of the dipole. Um, and what I did is I cleaned up the ends and I took uh, wire connectors opened them up a little bit and soldered them on the end of this uh, copper wire. Um, do that to both pieces and then what you're going to do take one end of it as you can see here I got the SO239 connector and you're going to want to take the um, one of the end connectors and you're going to want to solder it to that center pin of your SO239 connector then you're going to want to take your other piece and you're going to connect it to the chassis ground of your connector here and then it'll be connected like this so you have two legs of your dipole um, on this one I was getting an SWR um, ratio of a one to one uh, works fairly well. Um, you can cut it for a little longer um, and uh, trim it down according to your SWR. Um, this, I got some pretty good signal reports on uh, 2 meter FM with it. Um, I've had no luck on the side bands. Um, but th this antenna is a pretty good uh, starting antenna. Um, I think in materials I, I, I have under under six dollars I believe in materials um, it just takes and it doesn't take long at all you just use a um, I just have a, a bolt here a nut and a bolt to uh, connect onto the ground uh, connector and then um, you can set this on a uh, piece of um, PVC pipe to mount it and uh, put it up and uh, you'll be in the air and uh, should be able to start making some simple contacts on simplex and uh, work repeaters. Uh, it's a fairly uh, cheap way to get an antenna on the air. Um, the only other thing you would need would be uh, your coaxial and uh, then you should be good to go. Um, this is KD8 VMR. Uh, hope this video was uh, somewhat informative. I know it was kind of short. Um, any questions please put comments in the uh, comment section and um, I'll try to uh, get back to you on that. Um, anyway, uh, 730 is KD8 VMR.